In this week's Bleach, the stage is set. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Bleach Chapter 573, I Am the Edge, begins with a cool color page that makes Zoraki look like the freaking Terminator. Come with me if you want to live. Yachiru is glad to see him, but Isane asks where Unohana is and he breaks the news to her easily. She's dead! <laughs> Gone forever! Died a horrible, painful death! Because he killed her, he inherited her name, and Asane seems actually pretty proud of his accomplishment. I'm so happy! <laughs> the kid finally speaks up and says Zoraki is strong, just like he imagined. The ground then lifts up as an unnecessarily large arena is built. That's just stupid! Zoraki is confused, but the kid tells him that he is Sturmitter V, the visionary, and he believes that he is the strongest of all the Sturmitters. You fool! You foolish fool! Zoraki goes to strike, but his blade doesn't manage to cut through. V explains that through his imagination, he was able to imagine his body was harder than the toughest steel. Zoraki doesn't seem to care much about this kid's imagination. Sounds gay. If by gay you mean the old English definition of fun, enjoyable, and carefree, then yes, it's extremely gay. He slices through and tells V that there isn't a single thing his imagination can make that he can't cut through because he is THE Kenpachi. This chapter felt way too quick this week. And the worst part is that not a whole lot of shit happened. Sure, Zoraki confirmed Unohana was dead, but let's be honest. Did anyone think she actually survived? It felt obvious to me, so the whole start with the conversation with Asane just felt like a waste to me. I think it would have been much cooler if Asane got pissed and resented Zoraki. If your life had a face, I would punch it. Yeah. Wait, what? We also found out that the kid, Gremmy, is Sternritter V, and he considers himself the strongest. At that moment, you knew this kid was deader than dirt. Zoraki will only fight the toughest, and with his new strength, I believe he's still going to destroy him. But all we got this week was one cut from Zoraki. If Kubo was going to draw this out, it better be worth it, because it could have been over today. Once again, I felt time was just wasted. You watched it! You can't unwatch it! So I give this chapter a 5 out of 10. Zoraki can cut Grammy, but too much time was spent on the explanations of Unahana's death and this visionary's power. For my question of the week, do you think the visionary is the strongest Stern Ritter we've seen so far? I think the kid's full of shit and Hoshwald is the strongest. My favorite comments will be featured in the next review. Here are last week's winners. <laughs> That does it for me. Remember to leave your thoughts on the chapter and answer to my question in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more weekly Bleach chapter reviews. And don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter or DeviantArt. Links always in the description. I'll be back next week with a visionary battle. Peace. Yeah.